There's something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Heading to the sun, only you and me are I don't wanna waste another day Being stuck here in this place No, I wanna hold your hand in mine Watch the sunset in your eyes Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 right now Hey guys, welcome to Dose of Diana and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my bedroom. A couple of months ago I posted a home decor video showing you guys a few pieces for the bedroom that I picked up. I really wanted to give my room a nice little makeover, a nice little refresh and I wanted an all white palette with touches of light gray. I am in love with white gray and white and hints of silver. With the exception of dark gray, a little bit of dark gray contrast on the bed, um, I think I've achieved that and I am super duper excited. I feel so good being in here. This is like a little retreat, a little luxurious um, haven, and I just love going to sleep and waking up in this room. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little a tour of the room and I'll be letting you know where I got everything from i'll leave links in the description so that you guys can go check it out in case you're interested so i guess we're gonna go ahead and get started give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started so as soon as you enter the room this is the door right here at an angle this is the first wall and i have a wedding picture right up here in a mirrored frame i love the mirrored frame because they give off the accent of silver and that is my accent color so i love it this frame I got from Target, it was about $35. And then right below it, I have a me and you um, marriage sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. I believe this was about $12.99. Right under that, I have a nightstand that's sitting right here with a lamp. Um, this lamp, I use it as an alternative light to the chandelier. I love having um, another option for lighting. So this is what I use when I don't want to use the chandelier. This lamp has the diamond faceted details on it and I got it from Home Goods. This nightstand I also got from Home Goods. I also hold my phone on top of here. Sometimes I have my laptop there. But yeah, this is just right here when you come in through the door. So as soon as you pass this wall, we have the double doors here. This is the closet. It's not organized, so I'm not going to tour the closet today. Maybe at another time, if you guys are really interested, I'll leave a comment below. But otherwise, this is just our closet where we keep our shoes and our, our clothes. So right over here, we have my dresser straight ahead. And this dresser I got from a local uh, furniture store, which they're no longer in business, unfortunately. But I got this simple white five drawer um, dresser and I just keep a pot of greenery on top of it. I really removed all the clutter. I really didn't want to be seeing any perfumes, any makeup, any jewelry. I put everything away and really wanted this room to be a place of de-stressing. So for the top of the dresser, I really just wanted like a pot of greenery, something very simple. This pot I got from Ross. It was only about $12, like $10.99 I believe. So this was a very good buy. Uh, Ross is a good place to uh, shop for home decor. Sometimes you could find some really good pieces at an affordable price. And I bought two of these because I have the same dresser on the other side for my husband's clothes and I wanted the same look on that end. So pretty much what I have here is what I have over there. I wa really wanted the look to be even. So this is from Ross and right behind it I have a mirror in a white frame. This I got from Lowe's. It was about $39 and I just wanted a mirror there because without it there it just looks so plain and it just looks ugly and I really again I love mirrors so I love how it reflects back and it makes everything look bigger when I put the plant in front of it yes you can't really see anything but from angles you can see the you can see the reflection of the plant and I just like how that looks and I just love the pop of green it's like very nature inspired against the white and I am absolutely loving it so bringing you guys closer here I wanted to show you the diamond knobs that I got from Amazon. Um, I got these many years ago and they still look as beautiful as the first day I put them on. They did come in a pack of 12 which is more than I needed but look at how beautiful the 
these are. I clean them um, maybe every three months. I just wipe them down with Windex just to preserve their sparkle. But in the when the sun hits it, you guys can see it's kind of faceted. And I love them. They don't get loose or anything like that. So I will leave these linked also. Now I want to share with you guys this candle that I got on a recommendation from Arvin Olano. He's a YouTuber that I've been watching um, lately. I just found him like a month ago and he is super funny. If you guys know who Arvin Olano is, um, leave a comment below. But I've been binging out his videos because he does like home decor stuff and stuff like that. And he recommended this candle from Amazon. This is from Lulu Candles and it says that they're sold exclusively on Amazon. But this scent is called number 14 and it's a soy candle. It has a cotton wick. It is a slow burning candle. The notes are jasmine, oud, and sandalwood. So let me tell you guys that this scent is intoxicating. I would personally highly recommend this scent if you're giving your bedroom a refresh. They're $19.95 for a nine ounce black jar. Um, but I'm going to tell you something, they are totally worth it, especially for your bedroom because the bedroom is going to be a retreat. You definitely want to smell something intoxicating in there, something so good, something that again helps de-stress you and just makes you feel luxurious and like you've invested you know, your money into it. I. I love this scent. I'm actually going to order another one. This jar has lasted me a whole month. I light it every day for about 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, and it is not long at all before the whole room is filled with this scent, and I close the door just to preserve the scent in my room, and I love it. At the end of the day, I walk in my room, and this is all you can smell. Mine is up to here, because I bought it like in the at the end of April. still have uh, some to go, as you guys can see. It's a slow burning candle. I will leave a link to this below if you guys want to try it out. Trust me, very intoxicating. It's a luxurious scent. It's something to have in your bedroom, I think, because you're creating a nice little retreat for yourself and your you and your husband. You want your room to smell divine, and this is one way to go. Light a candle. Invest in something that has an intoxicating scent because it does make all the difference and go for it. So now let me draw your attention to the wall. So on the wall is a design that I did using a stencil from CuttingEdgeStencils.com. I bought this over four years ago and I never had a chance to use it. So when it came time to do a little makeover to my room, I decided to pull it out and use it. And I really didn't want to do a statement color. I wanted to do some kind of pattern, some kind of design. And I remember I had the, um, the stencil and we got to work doing this. This was truly a labor of love because it took us a little bit longer than I anticipated because I had like a smaller stencil so we had to work in sections. I will post a few clips of us getting this done so you guys can see but what I did was paint the wall white because I really wanted more white than any other color in here and then with the light gray color I went um, and went over the stencil to create this beautiful design that you see here and that design or that stencil design is called Serenity the last time I checked was about a month ago and they still have it on their website so that's still available and I just love how it came out it kind of looks like wallpaper but it's not it's just paint Whenever we get tired of it, we can easily just paint over it or do the same design in different colors. So moving on a little bit this way, this is the bed and this bed I did haul um, in that home decor video that I was talking about and I did buy the mattress from Amazon. I also bought the steel frame from Amazon. It's kind of like a steel frame that sits high so you don't have to buy a box spring and we are totally loving it. It makes the bed uh, sit high which I like and before I get into that I'm going to talk about the pillows that I have. So I got the white shams from TJ Maxx and they came in a two pack so unfortunately I had to buy an extra one because this is a king bed. So this one I got from Walmart. Walmart does uh, sell the Euro pillows now which I thought it was amazing because 
I've never seen the Euro pillows there. And in case you're wondering what Euro pillows, they're like the square pillows. I think they're like 26 by 26, which makes them perfect for back pillows. And yeah, so that's what I did. And then I bought these right here. Um, I bought two of them. These charcoal gray ones I bought for a little bit of contrast on the bed. And I love them. Um, I thought I wasn't going to like them because I thought they were going to be too dark, but I absolutely love them. This is from Target. This is by the Casa Luna brand. And this is like a linen blend fabric. So it's very soft. And they were $40 each. So I got two of them. So these are standard pillows. These are the ones that we actually sleep on. And these are um, silk pillowcases that I got from Amazon. So I will leave them linked below because these truly do make a difference. Also, everyone should be sleeping on a satin pillowcases. I'm just saying. <laughs> and of course I got them in white because that's the color that I wanted. So yeah, these are the ones we sleep on and these are the ones that we pretty much just lounge on uh, when we're seeing TV or if we're reading a book or on the laptop or whatever. We just kind of lounge on all of them. At nighttime, I just move uh, these gray ones and we let these go down and this is how we sleep <laughs> in case you're wondering what do we do with these big fluffy pillows i just put them off to the side and in the morning i make my bed and i bring them back up so that is how we do so th so that is what i do this accent pillow i got from walmart it was only about 10 bucks and i thought it was perfect because it's like the charcoal gray and white and it says i love us so i thought it was perfect so for the bedding, I wanted to show you guys the comforter that I have. This is a comforter that I got from TJ Maxx. And as you can see, it has some uh, ruffle details here, which I love. Kind of gives me uh, the shabby chic vibes, kind of like a French cottage. And I love it. It is very light. And I love that about it. It doesn't weigh anything, like honestly. So I, I love that about this. I also have another comforter under here. It's very thin and this one is very light also. I just wanted it for layers. And then we have our, um, our sheets. So the sheets I got from Amazon and I'll leave them linked below. They are extremely soft. I love them. And yeah, they're just layered blankets here. They're all white. And let me show you guys uh, the bed skirt that I also got from Amazon. I'm gonna bring you guys down here so I can show you. So right here, I wanted to show you guys the bed skirt. This is like a bed skirt that has like an elastic. So it's not the one that you have to put over your box spring or anything like that. And I absolutely love this. I find that this is so much better than the other ones that kind of tend to get caught in underneath your mattress and I love this one I'll leave it linked below these come in so many colors and this is a king size bed so as you can see they have um, they stretch very well for the king size now the frame that I bought is from Amazon also I will leave it linked this frame um, excuse the mess under my bed but this frame is 18 inches high so it does um, sit very high and it's very strong this does not move whatsoever you don't hear it and what we did is we bought these little what do you call this this is for like piping my husband bought it for like piping um and he just put this over one of the steel things so that we don't stub our toe because it is steel and if you stub your toe there it will hurt like heck so we covered it with this and so far honestly I've hit this like once or twice I don't really bump into it they only it's only one in the corners and then right here in the middle and throughout the um, throughout the the whole frame there's uh, bars going across to hold your mattress up and to hold a lot of weight up these are really strong I highly recommend if you want to get a new bed and you don't want to invest in a whole you know mattress and um, box spring and then you'll have to get the frame anyways they are expensive I can't believe so and then it even if you want to use like pool noodles uh, pool noodles will work the same way so this is a good way to kind of protect yourself against that and look at all this space down here look at how high this is I have several things down here that didn't fit in my closet like extra comforters and a few other things that I just you know I don't have I don't want displayed and I love that I can put all this stuff under my bed, like honestly. 
and they're not catching, they're really not catching dust honestly because the skirt is here helping um, guard the dust or anything. I, I vacuum every day anyway, so needless to say, um, I love I love how everything came out. We have the layered blankets here. This second comforter I also got from TJ Maxx and then this one. So I love the layers. So I'm really happy with everything I chose. So then so the next item I wanted to show you guys is the knit blanket that I have on the end of my bed and I absolutely love this blanket. Um, it says it's a medium weight blanket but honestly this is so heavy and I love to sleep with like the AC on so this is for when those nights get really chilly. Put this over you and I absolutely love it. The texture is so beautiful. I just I really wanted to invest in a nice blanket to bring some texture on the bed because I didn't want the bed to just look flat and I love how this looks. I actually went through some trial and error with this blanket because I really wanted to get one that was in a color and I went through a series of blankets before I settled, or well, I didn't settle, but before I um, gave the white one a chance and I actually love how it looks. I thought it would blend in because it's white on white, but it didn't. So because of the texture and how beautiful it's woven, um, it just stands out. So I simply love how this looks in the bed. I usually have it at the foot of the bed and sometimes I put it up here just to have it closer. So let me tell you guys about my mishap with this really quick. I went into the Target store and I bought the neutral color one because I really wanted to have like a nice little color, some an, a, a nature inspired color. So I went with the neutral one and it was kind of like a tan brown. And when I brought it home and put it here, it was just not coordinating well and it was just, it looked like it was a fish out of water. I didn't like how it looked, unfortunately. So I started looking online and I saw that they had a sage green one and I thought, okay, because I have some greenery in the room, it'll coordinate, it'll give it like that nature inspired look and feel because of the greens and the whites. and. And guess what? So I ordered it on online. So I ended up having to take the neutral one back to the store. I ordered the sage green online and when it arrived, I was so disappointed that it was a little bit darker than what I wanted. So it was a little bit darker than what I wanted and after like a day, I just couldn't live with it. I felt like it it, it was again, it, everything is so white and so light and then that was kind of like <laughs> You know, I just gonna live with it. So I ended up taking the sage green back to the store. So I returned it and I went to look, see what other colors they had and I bumped into a light gray one. And uh, they also had the white one there, but I was like, no, we can't do white because it's gonna blend in. It's not gonna show, you know, or, or at least that was my train of thought at the time. And so I ended up getting the light gray one because I was like, well, light gray, you can't mess that up. Everything in here is light gray and white. It's, it'll be fine. So I ended up buying the light gray one and I brought it home and although it looked nice, it was, I felt, I felt like it was so much light gray in here that it was, it was actually driving me crazy. So I was like, oh my God, I, I can't because then I, I have my light gray headboard and then I have a light gray uh, bench at the foot of my bed and then I had the light gray here. I was like, it's so much light gray that it was really, you know, it's probably just being anal, but I really wanted this to work and I really wanted to be happy with what I chose. So at the end of the day, I almost kept it, but then I was like, no, I'm going to go ahead and take it back because I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take it back because... I'm just, I'm not a hundred on it. So what I ended up doing is I went for the white one. And as soon as I brought it home and I unraveled it and I put it on the bed, I was like, perfect. It's, it blends, I mean, it doesn't blend. It coordinates perfectly with the bed. I really wanted an all white bed, but then I figured, you know, a little bit of contrast will do us good here. But as far as the blanket, I'm so glad that I went with this one because it looks so much better. And like I said, it stands out. It doesn't blend in. The texture is beautiful. I love it. So I am so happy. So the next share with you guys is the bench that I ended up purchasing. And I just got this one that has the curved arms here. 
and I just love it. This one doesn't have any storage, but this one is uh, wide enough to where it covers, you know, a lot of space from the side. I really didn't want my bench to look, you know, miniature against a king size bed. So I really wanted a nice full long size one. So this one, um, this one's perfect. I love it. It's wide and it sits high off the ground. So it's not so low and it's just the perfect color. It's upholstered and it also helps the baby um, get on the bed whenever she wants to get up on there and just quick, easy access. And I love it. We sit here sometimes to have our morning coffee or we sit here, you know, when we're putting on our shoes and stuff like that. Or sometimes we're just watching TV, a lounging here. And yeah, I will leave this linked below. They do have several other colors available, like a beige color. I believe they had a charcoal gray and then they had this light gray one. So I absolutely love it. It was about 150. So it's not bad at all. I mean, it is an investment, but I mean, you have to invest, you know what I'm saying? So directly in front of that, I have this floor length mirror and it is beveled. This mirror I actually got from Walmart. It was actually a gift I asked my husband for. It was $120. It does sit pretty tall. So I absolutely love it. It was well worth the money. Uh, they still do carry this at Walmart, only the price went up. It's now $150 and we got it for 120. So these are the kind of mirrors you find in home goods and other stores that sell stuff like this for a lot higher of a price. So like I said, this does have the mirrored edges and it's just beautiful. I love it. Um, I can do like my outfits of the day. I can check um, how I look before I walk out the door and I just love it. Again, the reflection as you can see. Um, it just it's just beautiful and I don't know if you can see the chandelier but it fits the bill and I absolutely love it on this side this door right here sits directly in front of the bed and not directly but <laughs> there's space a walking space but that's the bathroom that door is always closed the last thing I want to see when I'm laying in bed is you know a toilet or a tub or some sinks so that door is always closed. This is the other side of the room. Um, the door is directly in front of us, obviously. So the bathroom is right here. And in this corner over here, I have uh, my makeup drawers. I have all my makeup in there. And it, it's nice and stuffed because I had to, I usually display my makeup, but I really didn't want to see any makeup. And most of everything is in there. I have a few pieces in the bathroom, but nothing like what's in there. Then we have our TV. The TV is up there and we have a council there and stuff like that. Now, let me bring you guys over here. As you can see guys, I have some sheer curtains. Um, I really wanted sheer curtains. I love the white sheer curtains. It's just, for me, it's like very nostalgic. There's something about when you open a window and wind blows in and there's sheer white curtains that just blowing um, in the wind. It's just something kind of gives me like that French cottage feel and that's what I'm living for. So this is the window to the room. Um, the sheer curtains with the light, it doesn't bother me. The sun sets on this side. Uh, thank God it doesn't rise on this end because, you know, that would have been another story. I don't know if you can tell, but the top window is tinted. I had my husband tint that because, you know, to kind of dim out a little bit. The bottom one is not tinted. I do like when sunlight comes in. So I have shelves here on each side of the window with a little vanity that I've had for years. <laughs> I have it there holding a beautiful plant of my shelf. I have a little picture here of me and my precious queen, uh, my baby. And I have a few perfumes here with a little box of jewelry that I don't wanna leave out there so the baby won't get it. And I have the room spray there and just a little Eiffel Tower here. I forgot to tell you guys about this. I used to do my makeup here, but like I said, I decluttered everything because I don't want to see makeup anywhere. This I got from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby a while ago. This is where we keep all our remotes. And I'm actually going to use this one because I'm going to show you uh, next. But this is where we keep our remotes. This was from Hobby Lobby. 
we keep it here. Obviously, right up here, we also have our Alexa. We play rain sounds at nighttime to kind of, you know, that white noise situation. So that being said, I wanted to draw your attention to the ceiling because that's where I have my touch of luxury or elegance in this room. Let me turn it off really quick so I can show you guys. We do have a dimmer on our chandelier. This is it off and this is the chandelier on um, all the way. It is in the brightest setting. I don't know if you guys can see the detail, but I'm gonna show you guys how it looks as I dim it down. It has like six uh, settings. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is the lowest setting that it can go on. And I'm gonna go up. It, as you can see, it can get very bright. So this chandelier I actually got from Amazon. It was such a good price, guys. I would highly recommend it. Obviously, you have to build it yourself, but my husband did this in about, what, an hour? An hour and a half, maybe? Um, I highly recommend it. It was under $200 and it just transforms the room. So as you can imagine, I'm right over my bed, as I'm looking, I can see my beautiful chandelier and I am so, so ecstatic about it. Uh, this is the dimmer that we used. I'll leave it linked in the description. It works like a charm. It was not expensive at all and I highly recommend it. This is the touch of elegance that I wanted in the room. We have an LED light strip um, inside of that little uh, section there. And obviously, as you can see, they are turning colors. And I'm totally obsessed with it. It is a whole vibe in this room. So there is uh, several options for lighting. Um, sometimes we have uh, just the, actually, let me show you guys. Turning off the chandelier so the chandelier is now off and the lights are on and they are in um, like fade mode where they're showing all the colors and that's what it looks like it's a whole vibe and it definitely feels luxurious especially that it's right above the bed and I'm obsessed I mean, look at how beautiful. You can have it more brighter, or you can have it uh, less bright. You can have it to play, I think what it's doing now. I'm gonna put the red, red light on. Okay, so that's the red. Let me bring this up so you guys can see. I'm gonna put the green. So that is the green. This is the blue. And then we have a white. This is like a magenta. There's a purple. We have what? Orange. Where's the yellow? This is kind of like a yeah. This is the yellow. And yeah, it just has all kinds of colors. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That would really help me out. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna Picking up a love friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna Trunks full of wine We're gonna stay up Have the time of our life